Hey guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Well, today we're going to play a great song for your electric guitar, CCR's Ramble Tambo. But before you start, make sure that your guitar is in drop D tuning. And if you do not know what it is, I will explain it in the video. Chords and tabs available as always at patreon.com slash guitar pilgrim. Without further ado, let's take a look. The first thing we're going to do is make sure that your guitar is tuned in a drop D tuning. And that simply means that your low E string is not an E, but it's going to have to be a D. And the way I do that is I play a D string and then simply going to tune down my low E string until I have my D like this. And obviously it's also a good idea to use a guitar tuner. It's probably going to be a little bit more precise. And then you're all set to play Ramble Tamble. So twice the low E string. Then a hammer on, first to third finger. And this is a dead note, which simply means you do not press the string and you hear that muted sound. Then first finger twice. Back to the third finger. Here we have simultaneously the third and little finger. And then your second finger and a little bar with your first finger pressing down two strings. Let's take a look at the strumming. So it's down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down. Now on the second, fourth, and also the last up strum, we're going to remove the first and second finger. Then after the second, fifth, and seventh strum, we're going to mute the strings with our right hand. Now let's see if we can play the strumming pattern a couple of times in a row. Uh, do remember, you have to start after the first beat. One, two, three, four. Let's play the whole intro starting with the riff. Now we're going to shorten it a little bit. We're going to play the riff four times and the strumming two times. One, two, three, four. Now in the chorus we still have our D chord and we're going to play the low E string and the A string all down strums. And what you want to do also is mute those two strings with the palm of your right hand and make sure you're not too much in the middle because then we are not going to hear anything. Make sure that it's a little bit to the right which is a sweet spot We you have that muted sound. Now what you really want to do here is focus on the vocals because John Fogarty is going to sing the lyrics move down the road I go and on the word go we're going to go back to the part we know from the intro with the D in the strumming pattern. Let me show you. Move down the road I go. Now the verse starts off very much like the chorus, but instead of playing the low E string and the A string, we're going to play the D and the G string, all with down strums and a little bit muted. Now we're going to play that for five bars and then it's back to the uh, D 
and this is like a variation on what we did in the intro. Start with open strings, the thickest uh, strings, and then you want to go to the 11th fret, second finger, and press down the first and second string at the 10th fret. And this is also called a, a D chord, and you want to slide towards this chord. So first open strings, then it's one up strum open strings, this time the top strings, and then it's exactly the same as before. As you may have noticed, the structure of this song is uh, fairly complicated. It's not like a verse and a chorus and uh, there we go. It's uh, kind of all over the place. But here we have an interlude and it's a very short instrumental section before the main bridge. So it starts with a slight second to third fret with your second finger. Then it's your third finger at the third fret, the D string. And repeat and open strings. Now remember, some notes you have to pick upwards with your guitar pick, otherwise you aren't going to be able to play this very fast. Then it's 3rd fret, use your 2nd finger, 1st finger, 2nd fret, open A string, 3rd fret, use your 2nd finger again, and here we have open strings. Okay, let me play the whole interlude for you. One, two, three, four. my favorite part of the song, the lengthy instrumental section, the bridge. So we have the A minor. You can hold your first finger, then add the second finger, and then it's onto a C chord. You can put down your second finger for a complete C chord. You do not have to. It's something uh, I prefer to do. And make sure when you go to the G over B that you start with your first finger and back to D, hold your third finger. Let's take a look at the right hand. And once you get to the D chord, you want to do a bit of uh, strumming and a slight variation with your left hand. And what I suggest you do is either add the little finger or with the D chord, remove your second finger. Now you have to play that four times, and the fifth time, it gets a little bit different. So it's very much like uh, the beginning of the bridge but there's a, a bit of an accent here at the second fret of the A string. And here in the beginning we have uh, a strum also. Let's also have a quick look at uh, nice lead guitar licks that uh, John Fogarty plays during the bridge.
let me play a little bit of the second interlude for you. <laughs> second interlude so we're going to start off with the D string then we have the second finger third fret a pull off with your first finger and second finger third fret open D string then it's back to the D string open strings and it's second finger third fret a pull off first finger pull off first finger and the open E string and the interlude, second interlude ends with this part, second finger, second fret A string, and first finger at the first fret of the third string. Then slide your second finger down one fret, and back to the D. Remove your second finger, and we have a little riff.
That's it guys, those are all the parts of CCR's Ramble Tamble. Quite an ambitious song to play on the electric uh, guitar. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for subscribing and I will see you next time.